All right, traders, George here. Time for a look at the week ahead. Uh, from last week, we were looking at the NASDAQ breaking down below 44.40 and really got through the main target zones. We had another one here at, at uh, 43.46s. We drove down into the 20s. We've been trying to hang on to that area. You can see there's a lot of trading commitment there. So what I'm looking at this week is for either the bulls or the bears to own this level here. So below 4290s would show more weakness coming into the market. And over uh, 4331s, which is actually really close to where price is on uh, Friday, would be likely to see price move up. We could also see head fakes in either direction here, but ultimately throughout the week, the action that stays above or below this area will likely pull price much further in that direction. And so that's what I'm looking for. What were targets on the way down here would be initial zones to watch on the way up. Anything over uh, 44 50s here on the NASDAQ would likely see a run up to these extended targets that I've got here. These will be valid until this swing low is taken out, if it is taken out. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at for the NASDAQ. This is the most important uh, market to watch. It leads the markets on the major moves. And for right now, it's seen a bit of a correction here and it's stuck right in the middle of one of its uh, three most important uh, trade zones here up at the top of its multi year run. So there's the NASDAQ for you. Let's take a look at gold. Uh, we had a great long setup here, went through all the initial target zones I talked about, and then from the last video, there's the overshoot. We definitely got that. Uh, but then some weakness coming in, some profit taking new shorts, drove price down pretty substantially here and below the round number of 1200, which is a bit of a uh, a point of concern since this big breakdown here was so violent to get it back to 1200 and even pop above the ceiling of this balance beam here um, just not able to hold that you can see that tail pushing off the top is pretty pretty dire on that attempted breakout that would have been a, a brilliant spot for the bulls to hold that they couldn't do it so where we are going into the week I want to see if the bulls are going to get price over 1200 yes or no if they do then initially we'll retrace um, to the ceiling here in the 1218s, then up to 1243. Those are the first two points of uh, order on a move up. And weakness, we get, we're already below the round number 1200 from Friday. We break below 1190s, that's going to put these targets back into play as short targets. And as this impulse goes, this is a good impulse, it breaks the downtrend, however you want to visualize it. It does it on an impulsive move rather than price going sideways. And for a retrace, since I got you on the hook here, I'll just throw this up real quick. The 618 comes in at 1171. The 50 comes in at 1181. Retraces that go deeper than 1170 will likely not hold in this scenario and likely retest the lows here. So if we're going to pull back deeper, it turns out the 382 is at 1190. We break that, look for a $10 move down, and then look for that 50 to hold. And then from there, we go back up and retest. If that area breaks down, there is a slight chance we could go a little deeper and hold, but the higher probability scenario would be that we uh, actually don't hold and undo this area here. So something to watch on this bounce here. See how, how committed the bulls are to, to turning uh, this course here. That was a nasty break here, getting below these prior structure support swings. Um, and this impulse here, sort of the catalyst to get back over the support swings turn them into a breakout level now we're dancing at 1200 we've got to see what happens there so that's uh, very important for gold this week we got gold we got the Nasdaq why not check out oil oil had a really bad move at the end of the day on Friday it had a great move up here uh, getting through this very heavily traded zone so whenever you see a market that has been uh, selling off and is trying to put in a bottom and you're a balance beam trader and you can see where all the trading commitment is these breaks above are actually pretty bullish because they're trading above these areas here when they hold that is impressive when they don't hold it's pretty dangerous because it usually sends price back down to the floor of where that heavy traded commitment zone is and that's what happened here we had a great break above 51s and that shot us up into the mid 52s we couldn't hold a pullback there and that turned into a resistance swing and see you later we made a beeline right back down to the floor 
right back down to the mid 48s there. So where we are right now, this is a really bad move here for oil with price basically staying below 49. 49.10 and 48.72 important spots above where price is right now with the price basically just going a couple ticks lower we're going to be back into the 47s these are the two important price points there we break 47.30s and we really run away from all of this trading commitment we're very likely to move back into the 46 to mid 45 region and below that it gets pretty dicey there's n basically no commitment to talk about these are some uh, existing price points that we've hit before that would be targets of uh, and, and keep spots to watch. But these are the big picture forecasted uh, price points I have for a new impulse down. Right now we're going sideways, even though we made a new structure low there. For the most part, we're going sideways. But if we make an actual new clean impulsive breakdown to new structure lows here, that will likely put this final move into place where these become the most important price points. So that's the weakness to the downside I'm looking at for oil. And this big beam right here, there's a, a universe of trading potential here for day trading, but you know, 4870, 4910s, round number 50, round number 51, that calls out the dominator here. So obviously we're gonna see these things resonate for our day trading this week, but uh, getting over 51s would be the big picture strength of signal I would be looking for so really or this those are the two uh, breakaway scenarios from this area whether this is gonna provide a little more gravity to keep price from breaking out or breaking down too much TBD but that's what I'm looking for this week these are going to be the most important price points for oil one way or another and you'll see that in the live room starting on Tuesday we're gonna cover a lot more than just these three markets as the uh, the room starts up on Tuesday, you can use the link at the bottom of the video and hop in there and check out some day trading, some big picture forecasting, stocks, futures. And uh, that will do it for now. We'll see you back in the room on Tuesday.